I was excited for our day today. We um, had two different game plans against both teams, so I was really anxious to see what type of execution we were going to have being at home. It's always wonderful to be at home, and it's always challenging to play at home. Um, just because you know the excitement is going to be there and it's a different level of expectation. Um, but they showed up and really performed well, and I thought our defense and ball control was the key to what we were trying to get accomplished this weekend. So we came out ter serving tough, and I think as long as we stick with that system, we're going to be pretty successful. I think the main thing that kept us successful was our serve receive. Once our serve receive is on point, we can run anything from behind the middles, from the outsides, to even back row attacks. So once we're in our zone and serve receive, no one can stop us. I just think we came out and we executed our game plan. We knew what we needed to do and we talked about it. We talked about it with our coaches. And we came out and we just did what we had to do. We didn't do anything crazy. Just came out, played together. This is the most we've played together in a while. Team chemistry was just really on it these two games. The difference definitely had to be um, the way that we all played together and we played from point one to point 25. You know, last week we kind of were a little bit lax when it came to playing the teams that were there, but this week we came out from point one and we really executed. And coming off of Mississippi State, that was a great win. It was really hard to get those losses last weekend, but we came back and that's what it's all about. I think the first week, of course, we had our uh, neutral players. We were just used to everybody playing together. And then coach started to switch up some people, started to get some freshmen in and trying to get them some experience. But I think they're kind of, they're starting to get into it. So I think they just got a little nervous during the second tournament. So we're good now. The crowd is really helped. The, the screaming, the cheering, it's got, a, got us fired up too. Um, we're a loud team by ourselves, but the cheer behind us is, is a bit, uh, great help too. Man, that's crazy. I, I've never had that while I'm here. Maybe one game last home, but man, that was awesome. Never that many people I've seen up cheering, got a little student section, so that helps us a great deal. It helps so much. We were so excited just with the new board and the floor and everything. It's just so exciting just like now have a cheering squad. It's just a great feeling. Whew, it meant everything. Um, you know, I, the match or the match this morning, I listened to Patrick McNeil um, talk about the traditions that we're building and uh, the culture and the excitement for fans. And it was an event. I mean, we've had some great events here before. Last year, our marketing team put together an event and we had a sellout crowd. And so that passion just picked right up where we stopped. And I was so excited to see the girls and their response to being on the score on the Drumbostron board and you know seeing the the highlights and the replay it just it feels like an arena the convocation has always been a great facility one of the top in the a sun so we're really proud of it but the added accoutrement that we had today just get it it got us excited i was so fired up to walk out there i actually showed up a little bit early just to stand there and take it all in and we have great fans great fan base with the black and gold students and i'm hoping to see them a whole lot more um just confidence in ourselves. I think we can do it just knowing that we're a good team and going out and winning like we did today. I think we'll do it. Yeah, um, tomorrow we're going to try to get recharged for the evening and uh, start out with a good plan against Chattanooga. You know, they have a tough middle. Um, they have a great libero uh, there. And so we're going to have to change some of the attack options that we're running. We're going to have to um, fine tune our system a little bit um, and really pick up on their key hitters. Uh, so I think tomorrow is going to be a good challenge for us in a different way uh, in that we're very similar teams. They know us well. We know them well. Um, Choi handed us a defeat last year at the same tournament. So there's a little bit of rivalry stuff going on. And we just have to take it one ball at a time. We really, um, coaches look at the big picture, but I'm encouraging my team to look at the, the process and take the process step by step and one ball at a time and uh, we'll deal with Chattanooga and I think they're going to give us a great run so we're going to have to show up in the morning ready to play.